It's time now for another video. It has been a while since I've done a how-to video. Um, today we are covering how to do wipers on control surfaces. So prior to this, what I haven't covered, but I have covered in a previous video, um, if you look at the how to make a molded plane video, I cover cutting control surfaces out. Um, but this one we're going to cover making wipers. Now what I mean when I say wipers is if we look at, I pull a wing out here, when you have a wing, you have a gap created when you cut out, as you can see here, and when you open up that control surface, it creates a gap, which creates an eddy and large amounts of drag and whistling noises. So what we want to do is seal that gap with this nice little, what we call a wiper, which covers that gap and stops that eddy and that drag. You'll notice it quite significantly quieter. I've certainly found this to be so. So we have cut our control services out. Um, the next thing I do is I grab a nice bit of garnet paper on a nice straight block and I will go along, square up the edge. So I'll put this in here and you'll see it's squared up. So it's about like that. Um, so we're going to tidy up that, that face. So that as we look along the wing, we've got a nice straight line without any fibres and fluffs coming off it. The best way to, deal, to do this really is to mask the whole wing up. Although I've been having some problems with my paint coming off, as you can see in places, so I'm not masking this wing and just taking the risk that I might have some wee marks and things on it as a result, but it will look better than the paint. Next thing I want to check is that my surface will slide underneath that top skin. As you can see now at the moment, it's not quite sliding underneath that. So my next favorite tool is a old card, business card, credit card, whatever you want to use, plastic card. And because it's nice and thin, I put some 180 grit paper either side of it. And then I can slide this on the angle underneath and bevel that front edge so that it folds underneath. It's getting a bit nicer now. I don't think we need much more up of aileron travel than that. The next thing I want to do is you'll see here that um, the the undercut there ends there, but we're going to have a wiper which extends past and it's going to want to go into this section in here. So I need to dremel some of this end piece out a little bit further. But I have done that on this one here previously. You'll see I've dremeled out a, um, a bit more there where you can see it's going in. Right, so this tape here is uh, quite a thick tape. It's not thin like some other ones, it's about double the thickness of a standard tape. The reason being is we're going to place that and that's going to form the shape of our wiper. That's the bit we're going to put the, the compound on. Um, you'll see there's one here I've done already. And you see I've now put it just going past the leading edge of the control surface. And this is going to tuck under, with my last little tuck under tool, underneath underneath the trailing edge there. And we want to make sure that's going to tuck under quite nicely. Well, there's nice thick tape in the right position, so I want it to overlap. About as long as I, longer than I want the wiper because we will chop the wiper back. Because um, you don't want it to be exactly the right same length as your wiper here. Because if you try and make the tape exactly the right length of your wiper, the very front edge will be wafer thin. So said Monty Python. Um, so what we need to do is ensure it's longer because then we can sand that wafer thin edge back. Right, now we're going to check that, now I've stuck just that leading edge piece down, nicely along there. This is going to come off. There we go. And now we're going to check that it tucks underneath that front edge. 
This is where I like to use my little poke around it. So closing up that gap and we're going to make sure that that tucks under nicely. Not too many issues, not too bad. Right, my next favourite tool is this vise here. So this vise is a ball vise, it can articulate rack around at all sorts of different angles. Um, the best thing about this is that I can place my part in this vise with nice soft jaws. These are nice 3D printed soft jaws I made. So, once we have that tape in position there, we can pull the surface back. I'm just going to secure this in my vise. And I want to tape that control surface back to its most open position. This is going to allow me access into that area where we want to put the wiper. Alright, I like to clamp my, surf my part by the trailing edge because that's going to allow us to rotate this down this position and gain access to as you can see there, gain access to underneath there quite happily clean this a little bit I can mess all over this I'm going to run some acetone just over this just to clean it up a little bit and remove some of that adhesive and then you'll see there I've got a little bit of fluff which I've stuck up with the sticky adhesive. So I'm just going to remove that. Try and remove some of the tape adhesive as well. Right, so the composition that I use for my wiper is I use my epoxy. It's a normal laminating epoxy. I use some graphite powder and I also use some microfiber as well because little fibers help keep it together. I'm wiping this against the side, squishing against the side to try and break down all those bits. This is still far too runny. So I'm going to add some more microfibers. Eventually. Yeah, it's looking better. consistency we want is judged by when we lift up some of our product and we drop it back into the glass and it see it takes about a second or two for those blobs to self level about two seconds or so and that's about the consistency which I use to judge next thing I want to do is transfer it into my syringe I wish to stand up my syringe in a voice I find that works best take out of the syringe first Hold it in place, and that will allow me to pour this in. My syringe up here. If you want better control by not having any compressible air in there, until it starts coming back out again. Cool. Syringe purged. Right. Now we can apply our product. So I'm going to sit down on the step stool, make sure I'm nice and steady. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I am going to now syringe some. along in place here. So you want enough thickness that's going to hold together. It's going to fill up some of those spots. Oop, that's touched too much. Low spots. And you can see it's self-leveling but still holding a bit of height. Not I'm reasonably happy with that thickness now it's sitting. Don't need to do too much more there. Make sure it's just doing a bit of, bit of gardening. Make sure it's all kind of sitting flat or thereabouts. Yeah, that's just leveled it off a bit nicer. On the bottom of the tape, so on the back side of this tape, I need to wipe so that there's nothing on the back of that. See, there's a little bit there. We can carefully take this tape off, which is holding this going up. free our wing and we can slowly bring this down that's the tricky bit because we want to bring this down and we want to tuck it in start this in I think sorry you probably wouldn't have seen that I've been using this knife just to tuck that bit of 
plastic in. Now, after it upside down so you can see, hopefully you'll see now that we've created this nice curvature of the wiper. I try to set it so that that is going to self level about the right spot. So the whole point of having it thinner, the angle that we set to self level that wiper where we want it to finish if you follow that. Um, so hopefully that will self level a bit more. Something like that. And we should get a nice Yep, so now we just wait for it to cure. My English has not been very good today. All right, so I've got this tailplane set up the same way. So I'm going to add some to this. So I haven't used the thick tape on this, and as, as you can see, it's um, becoming a lot harder to work with because of it. It's not staying in place. Right, I'll have to undo this out of here because I can't work on it at the moment. I can't see what the hell's going on. All right, so now you'll see that these are nice and cured. Um, first thing we're going to do is break them free. Oop. Break them free. There's always a little bit of glue gets underneath here, so we have to break that free. So I'm just clearing underneath the top skin there, because this is stuck underneath it. So notice that. Right, I'm going to take this tape off. Get the edge, and hopefully not too much paint comes away with it. So I'm going to peel it right back on itself to try and avoid that. Oops, some of the paint's come off, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried about. The paint coming off. Sorry, Daniel. This plan's for Daniel. And And the butt. This was nice wing tip until then. Okay. <laughs> I need to sort out my paint. Right, now we check what's going underneath. It's just going underneath, it's catching in a couple places. So we're going to use my little card. Now, there we go. Now it's not catching. Happy days. And now we have our wiper. That's clearing quite nicely. Done. All right, so I've just done this one, the same process to this one as well. And not quite so much paint came off this one. So we tidy up with some of the stuff with the acetone. Tidy up the wing. Little fluffs. And this one's actually coming a bit nicer. And that's going to tuck in underneath. And at neutral position, we have a nice seal all the way along that gap. So yeah, much tidier that one. Bit of an art form.